And we back! Today, I have five seasons to turn an undrafted player to the MVP of the entire NBA. It's gonna be tough, so lock in. Now, obviously, I'm talking about an auto-generated auto undrafted player. Not Fred Van Vliet or somebody of that caliber, somebody that's real. No, we're going from an auto-generated guy to potentially the MVP of the league. At least that's the goal. So you know that there's no shenanigans, auto-generated rookies only. Okay. Um, and, and shenanigans don't even make sense in this video, mostly because if I start messing around with people's attributes, guess what they're going to do? They're going to get drafted. So uh, first season doesn't matter. It's all about this draft class. We have to have our fingers crossed that there is an undrafted player out there that has the potential high enough, a potential high enough to go undrafted, but also to also be high enough to be better. Like it, it makes no sense. It's going to be tough. It's almost impossible. But again, we're going to try. Here's the lottery. None of this really matters. Nobody cares about who won the championship. If you're wondering, the Bulls lost. Uh, <laughs> and that makes it sound terrible. Like it's a shot at the Bulls. Like the Bulls made it to the finals. They just lost. I forgot who they lost to, but I was invested in the Bulls season. Then they lost, which is the story of my life. Um, OJ Norris, shout out to you. You look really solid. Look like a really solid player. But that's not what this is about. We're going to the end of the draft. Who's the worst person drafted? He was a, well, we got like 69 overall players, man. So that means the undrafted player that we're eventually going to sign to whatever team. I, I'm, I guess I'm the 76ers right now, but that's not the team I want to end up on. Like, I wanted to be a young player. And as you can see, these players are undrafted. That guy was drafted. Who is the best under 71 overall? Lonnie Harrison. Let's take a look at Lonnie Harrison. He cannot score to save his life, but boy, is he an amazing defender. That means nothing to us. Uh, should we go on potential? See, potential is going to make it so that's the top dudes. Who are you? Drafted. Oh, my God. He's got crazy potential. A minus potential, but he was drafted. Uh, this guy. Drafted. This guy. That's Kobe Bryant. He's a real player. Uh, come on, come on. It's got to be somebody. Uh, Mari Bailey, real player, real player. Dang, bro. All of these players ended up, real player. All of these players ended up getting drafted, man. We are uh, going to be in a tough spot trying to turn one of these dudes into the MVP of the league. Uh, <laughs> where's, where's the love to the undrafted? Y2K never. Uh oh, are you a guy? You are a guy. Okay. 6'2 six, six, point guard. Not. Wait, 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 hold on. I, Seth Tate might be our guy. Seth Tate might be our guy. Please, he's got one bad, just ankle breaker. Okay, he's got some good handles, but he's bad at everything. This player might win. He's a 70, 67 overall. That's not good enough. Lonnie Harrison pops up again. Again, an elite level defender. Um, he's got badges, but they're all defensive. Do we believe that this man can develop an offensive game? His overall potential looked pretty decent. It's a B. Ah, uh, you take him to some camps, you have him get mentored, then maybe, maybe he's a guy, but he's, he's our best candidate at the moment. Like nobody else really is close. All the other undrafted players are just really, really bad. Unless we go center. Interesting idea, Kenny. Cause centers, you could kind of get carried if you're a decent, please tell me he got no badges. That's, that's a struggle. He doesn't rebound and he doesn't defend. Never mind. Luis Humphreys, you are not our guy. Uh, yeah, this is a really tough class for it. It's a really tough class for it. I think it might have to be the guy that we were just looking at. I got his name already. Wait a minute. Oh, this is another really good defensive player. And he's 23. That's too old. That's too old. But really good defensive player. And he can shoot a little bit. If you're 23, you're going to max out very quick. And again, we're looking for the MVP of the entire, entire league. So, all right, let's figure out what team I want him to be on to start off. Actually, it's not up to me. I like to let the wheels decide my faith. My faith? No, my fate. We're going to be... Are we landing on the 76ers? Washington Wizards. Okay. If I could get a, an MVP in Washington, man, they might build me a statue as the general manager. You know what I'm saying? They might build me a statue. All right, who's on this team, really? It's Anthony Davis. It's Derek White. Wow, he kind of fits right in as a defensive-oriented player. I kind of like that. And I do believe it's going to be that guy. I do believe it's going to be him. Unless I do this, right? Let's let's take another route before I decide that... It, I think his name was Humphreys. We give Humphreys like a 12-year deal or something. Like, give him that good old uh, Scottie Pippen special. Okay, nope. It's the guy I thought it was going to be. I went through every single person that was even eligible for it. I'm not seeing nothing that's interesting. So, it's going to be, I think, again, I think his name was Humphreys. Nope, it's Lonnie Harrison. Where did I get Humphreys from? Louis Humphreys is another dude. It's Lonnie Harrison from Tennessee. You, my boy, I'm trying to make you the greatest to ever pick up a basketball. Or, okay, one of the greatest. Four-year contract to 
What a steal. If he turns into the MVP of this league and we get him for that contract, we feel pretty good about it. Uh, we could bring back Jalen Smith potentially. I mean, he comes in as a, I don't even know what position that guy is. Now that I'm thinking about it. Um, he's a shooting guard. So, um, hmm. we got some young guards, man. Derek White is here too. Herb Jones is here. We got Michael Porter Jr. We can run Mike at the four with Anthony Davis at the five. We can run. We got to see what Amin Thompson's progression looks like. I'm starting my rook, though. Best believe I'm starting. He going to come in and get some real experience to start off. And that's our entire free agency period. All right, let's see what Amin Thompson looks like. Oh, is it Asar? I, I completely forgot. It's Amin. He jumps up five. Keontae George jumps up four. Davion Mitchell jumps up four at this age of 25. That's kind of interesting. And uh, we have our guy. They also had the 14th overall pick, and they got Derek Saunders. So, I'm sorry. Oh, no, he's a power four. You can run. You can run. Point of attack stopper, Lonnie Harrison. Get ready to progress to be the greatest of all time. Now, you like Kenny. Why don't you just trade Derek White? Because they play the same position. Well, Derek White is his mentor. Oh, oh, oh. He's already an elite level defender, and now Derek White is going to be his mentor. That sounds pretty elite. It's been so long since I've done this. Player development. Nope. It's been so long since I've done this, I forgot how to do it. Uh, mentorship. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So we wanted that Lonnie is being mentored by Derek White, but I don't need you to be mentored defensively. You, what? How does he have a goal badge already? Um, catch a shoot, Claymore, and then and then um, guest corner specialist. Just some offensive oriented stuff. I'm curious to see what that badge is because I thought he only had three badges, and now they're saying it said that he had a gold badge. It's a personality badge, I guess. I guess. Oh, it's work ethic. It's work ethic. Uh-oh, goes beyond the typical work ethic of an NBA. He might be the guy. He might be the guy, y'all. Okay, I'm sorry, Amin Thompson. You're gonna have to not start. Um, You're gonna play. Best believe you're gonna play. You're just not starting. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Hernan Gomez, you know what? It's in my rotation. Hernan Gomez minutes, we don't need those, you know? This is what the lineup looks like. I like it. It's cool. It's smooth. You know what I'm saying? Amin Thompson is six, man. Um, we're gonna have to make some big decisions soon. MPJ's contract goes for a long time. I might have to try trade him. Derek White is up for an extension. First game of his NBA career is a loss, but in this loss, we see our guy put a four. Nice. Zero three-point attempts is dreadful for 2025, because that's when this video is basically taking place. But he does have a D plus three. So you know what? Keep those three-point shots to yourself until we're getting you in that gym. Until we, get, until we get you in that gym, keep those three-point shots to yourself. I actually don't want to... Yes, continue every game zero for zero. Let's let's be a guard that is, attempts zero threes to start your career. But by year number five, we're going to have you looking right. We're going to go to player development for Lonnie Harrison. And we're going to say, hey, we need you to work on that three-point shot. That is your utmost important attribute right now, I guess. Let's, let's go to, like, the deadline-ish and see if we need to trade Derek White or somebody. We're at the deadline. Um, Harrison is averaging... Uh, let's just take a look here. Let's take a look here. Nine points. He's shooting 40% from three. Now that's on 35, 37 attempts. Uh-oh. You better respect him. You better respect him. The, the passing is the fun thing right now. This is the fun thing for me at this moment in time. Four assists per game is pretty good. The rebounding numbers could be better. But again, he's a 6'4 point guard or shooting guard. I mean... You know what I'm saying? He can pass a little bit. That's the fun part. Now, we are four games under 500. Again, this is not a team I expected to, to really do anything. Derek White said he'll resign. That's a lot of money for Derek White. But guess what? I'm going to give it to him for the time being. Until he starts to regress, Derek White is getting paid for me. Best believe it. Um, I'm trying to trade Davion Mitchell, Michael Porter Jr., and our pick top three protector. I know we're a lottery team at the moment, but I'm trying to build the perfect team around our young fella. Bari is one of those guys. I don't want Chris Middleton. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to flip Chris Middleton to something else. Because I don't need Chris Middleton. But I really wanted Jabari Smith Jr. on the team. We got to pay him. We're going to have to pay him. But that's okay. That is completely okay. You can trade him for, an, for aging Paul George. Under contract for three more seasons. That's a lot of money for somebody that's 34. Yeah, pass. Hard pass. Actually, some really crazy trades in here for Chris Middleton. I won't lie to you. Hey, how about we get our pick back? Um, the thing that we just traded you away, we're going to take. And then now we're going to flip Michael Porter Jr. a, a, a third, a second time. They're offering us Dame. I don't need Dame. But they're offering us Dame. I know last year of his deal, so they probably just trying to get off that contract and not have to pay him. But man, they were trying to throw me a first round pick to make it happen. Michael Porter Jr. is probably safe, low key. I might just trade him in the offseason. I mean, we just upgraded our team pretty significantly. Now, we do need to get our minutes back to our our, uh, our MVP, our future MVP, but 
I think that was a very successful couple trades. I mean, we got better for the right now. We still got the future trade asset and, and Michael Porter Jr. for a little bit later. So I, I, would, I like that trade a lot. I mean, we got a lot of guards. Keontae and um, Amen, they both can't coexist. One of them is going to always be coming off the bench. And then you ask yourself, do you need to pay $30 million for somebody to come off the bench? Because that's what's going to have to happen. We're going to probably trade Keontae George in the offseason. But that's, that's for future me. Let's just get to the end of the season and pray that the player prog oh oh we might make a playoff push um that the player progression does us a good favor the first year player progression is the most important one keep that in mind did he get rookie of the year he didn't johnny hicks second overall pick all right johnny all right we're gonna keep our eye out on you you won't win an mvp we will okay all rookie team i'm assuming yeah so he was second in rookie of the year at 10 four and three his three-point percentage went down as we kind of expected. There was no way he was going to shoot that good. Did we make the playoffs? We are playing team, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Playoff experience for our young fella. Him versus Bruce Brown. Um, Paul George, who again, they offered us. And Jamal Murray, I think they offered us him too in a, in a separate trade. Um, we lost. And we got eliminated. That's that's cool. That's cool. I don't care about nothing other than trading Michael Porter Jr. when we get a chance. And then, and then uh, looking at player progression. That is the only thing that matters. And Brian is... Officially retired. All right, Brian, I tried. I tried to get him to go again. He said, no, nah, that's not really him. We got the 13th overall pick. None of that matters to me. This video is not about the 13th overall pick, even though I kind of wish I traded it um, because we could just package him with Michael Porter Jr. And probably got something pretty cool. But, you know, let's do it now. Let's do it now. We'll trade him right now. Whoever he was, uh, Darius Laurie. He's got some good badges. Acrobat, catch a shoe, dead eye. Oh, that guy can be a stud one day. Um, not today, but one day. I'm going to trade for OG Ananobi and DeAndre Hunter. Those are two bigger contracts for sure. Um, I, I'm not going to have minutes for these guys. So I'd rather them just go in free agency and say, uh, go get a real job. Because because we don't have the money or the minutes for them. But I brought in two small forwards, defensive oriented small forwards. I mean, our defensively, there should not be teams better than us. I'm in Thompson, Derek White, Herb Jones, Lonnie Harrison, OG. Like, it goes on. And Jabari, Anthony Davis. We do need to trade Keontae George, though. Um, it's just we just don't have enough room for him. And unfortunately, none of these trades are very interesting for a guy that I know is going to be real good. Ah, uh, that sucks. Trading away a young player this early in his career when you know they go, he going to hit 85 soon, too. He going to hit 85. And I'm trading him right now. Um, for a first round pick, basically. Nicholas Claxton, you're, you're turning into a backup. And I know you're going to be so mad. I, I already know your history. The moment Nicholas Claxton and I get in touch, is he's going to the media and telling the world that he won't out. I know. I know your history. You're not fooling me. I don't care about free agency. Not even a little bit. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Play a progression. Did we pick the right guy? Anthony Davis is dropping. I might trade Anthony. I might. Because he's going to keep dropping overall. I'm in Thompson's got that starting spot locked up. And... A four. We'll take a four. He also developed a lot more badges. His clamps is now silver. He's got catch and shoot. Claymore and corner specialist. GG's. GG's. Now, a lot of that, almost all of that is because we sent him to camp with Derek White. Because he, there's look at his shooting stats. There's no reason he should have corner specialist. He has a 70 overall three. He should not have corner specialist. But he does. But he does. So, that just tells you that that stuff matters. I am going to have him train with Derek White again probably and say like hey let's get some other statistics and we're gonna keep we're gonna keep working it jumping up four in year number one is as good of a scenario as we can get you gotta hope that his actual I don't know um, um ceiling is not uh tapped out we gotta hope the next year he gets better too and I think the way we do this is that we have him be mentored by Derek White and we turn him into a defensive hub you know what I'm saying and the crazy thing is, oh, how do we do this? I think we run him at the three. So OG's going to have to come off our bench. Because he, he's 6'4". Ah, I don't love it. I don't love it. But Derek White and Amin Thompson, we, they have to play. Because we also, in order to be in contention for MVP, you, you need to win basketball games. You know, that's also the objective here. So as a small four, he's a 77. Oh, my God. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. He's a 77. So OG, I know I just traded for you and I was so hyped to have you. Brother, you're you're going you're going to the bench. Um just the game that we play here you know it's just the game we play you have to recognize that we have some other agendas to pit push outside of you og jumping up to 77 is so important bro first game 20 point heater Woo! 20 point heater first game of year two um and then and then 
10, okay, 10, 5, and 4. Not as exciting. I'm going to go to the deadline, and then I'm going to trade Nicholas Claxton more likely than not. But right now, I'm feeling pretty good about our, our, our chance. Such a stupid trade. We're doing it. Our friend Shingun, welcome to the team. You know how Claxton be. So our second best player is coming off the bench. Anthony's getting traded in the offseason. I'm just going to say that. So Shingun, um, I'm sorry you have to come off the bench to start your time here in Washington. What type of year are you having? An amazing season. I actually feel really bad about this right now. But, but, um, it will get better because Anthony is getting traded. Even though he's having a really good season, we just know he's going to regress again. Speaking of really good seasons, <laughs> most improved player question mark? I guess we'll see. No most improved player because our teammate got it. I'm in Thompson still in the joy away from our guy. Um, it is what it is. Hey, that's not Courtney McLeod. <laughs> okay. Um. It is what it is. You know what 100% should happen eventually? A defensive team. That should 100% happen soon. I'm um, one seated team, by the way. I didn't even really even build this team. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I kind of stepped in. I made a small trade here, small trade there. We almost lost in the first round. We lost in the second round. That's fine. But making the playoffs is a one seed and boost, it boosts your odds of winning an MVP. You got to be on winning teams to win an MVP. And um, as you can see, we've been on the winning team twice now. I mean, playing last year i'm taking it i'm counting it we got the sixth overall pick because we made a trade with somebody else that i can't remember it's anthony davis's time to be moved though i'm sorry anthony it's it's your, your time has just ran out we got like tyree's maxi but we don't need maxi because i'm in thompson is the truth like how do we do this um i think we go three man like who's our four right now jabari smooth jr is our four bari can bari can run three jabari can run three I'm kind of liking the idea of going to get Evan Mobley. He's a lot younger, and we get Emmanuel quickly. Come on, Emo, come into the team. Another defensive-oriented player. Jabari at the threes overall stays exactly the same. I think that's an absolute win. And we still got the sixth overall pick. Just took one of the best guys available, I guess. I don't know. Drafting without scouting is really, really hard. So go with the best guy. Oh, he was 23. You don't draft a 23-year-old in the first round. All right, it is what it is. Somebody's trying to steal Bari away from us. That is a lot of money. Wow, that's a lot of money. Um... Got to do what you got to do to keep your players around. Am I right, guys? Am I right? I got I got to keep the guy around. Okay. Moment of truth. I think the rest of our rotation is fine. We don't need to think about anything else. It's a very expensive team. And eventually, we're going to have to uh, pay our guy. You know, we gave him a four-year deal. That four years is going to be up relatively soon. He jumped up six. He only got one more badge. That's the scary part. Now, now, you know, I've been around this game for way too long. And when I think about player progression, the badges matter a lot. So you go year to year and you only jump up one badge, that kind of tells me that this might be his ceiling. And if this is his ceiling, we are not winning an MVP award. Um, if and That's if this is his ceiling. I don't know if it is. I said, I brought in Bari to run the three. I forgot our guy is a three. I think it's time we trade Derek White then. It's time for us to trade Derek White because we've got too many players. Derek White is older now. Um, it's crazy because every trade I'm going to see, every trade I'm going to see is going to be... Um, a, a player for player deal you know what i'm saying and Derek white is such an integral part of the development of our guy it feels weird to have to trade him away but i think this is the reality of the situation he's gonna have to go top five protect the first round pick that's where my head is at that's where my head is at because i don't need real players we have enough real players we have a really good team okay, year three is where things have to go back to being um ah uh, you make him a two his overall goes down he's now defensive menace instead of a, def a hybrid menace or whatever it said um this is where things get really interesting we're gonna have to start him at the two over Herb, but we also have to kind of overdrive it in the sense that, Herb, I'm sorry, we gotta take all of the minutes and we saying, hey, Harrison, you're gonna have to play all of all of them. It's time. It's I know it's Amin Thompson's team and so on and so forth, but he's never gonna win MVP. Dang it, he's never gonna win MVP. This year is gonna be so critical. Can he go, go up? I don't know. Eventually, as we go into these last couple of years, I'm gonna have to take matters into my own hand and change that brother's shot tendency to 99 and say, give him the ball and get out of the way. Amin Thompson's our best player, which makes sense. He's a 90 basically. And he made an all NBA team. Um, all defensive team for Mr. Lonnie. All right. 22, five and five is just not gonna cut it with poor efficiency when it comes to winning an MVP award. But making an all defensive team is undrafted is a really big accomplishment. All I came in thinking about MVPs and I'm leaving saying, oh my God, we made an all defensive. We got a couple more years to make it happen, okay? Um, we lost in the second round again. I'm not tripping about no championship, especially since that has nothing to do with our, our overall challenge. Um, 
what can I do to make it so that he's put in a position to do the thing? What have I, what, what stone have I not unturned, overturned, or whatever the word I'm thinking about? Because the only thing I can think of is like us controlling his shot tendency, right? Which cool, but that's still not going to make him be efficient. We've done individual training. We've done mentorship. I'm getting messages. Um, we've done pretty much everything you can imagine without it happening. I just don't know if he's destined for it. And it's hard. It's hard to get, a, a, again, an undrafted player to win an MVP award. It's, it's just going to be really difficult to do. I got to let Herb Jones go, unfortunately. He's just a little bit too expensive for the for the money we got to potentially get him. Fingers crossed. 13 bad. This is where he had at the end of the season. Please go up. If it does not go up, then we have plateaued. And... It's 14 badges, but he only jumped up one overall. Y'all, this is probably his peak. This is probably his peak. Um, which, if it is, I mean, it's a really good peak, man. I mean, he's good. He's a very good NBA player. But it's not the MVP of the league like we want it. So we're going to continue our part. Um, I'm going to do some more mentorship, some more training. But when a person is where he's at, it's probably the end. So it's time to do the other thing. Touches. Shot Tennessee. 100. It's time. Game one is a win. Uh-oh. Okay, 26, 4, 4, and 3 is not an MVP. Especially if you have four turnovers to match a four assists. Game two. Uh-oh. 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 Hey, do the thing. Do the thing, Mr. Harrison. Do the thing. I'm I'm here for it. I am here for it. I, I don't know if it's going to be good enough. As you can see, with him having 100% shot tendency, the team is under 500. Actually, uh, that's not good because we still have a really good team. And like, this is a really good team. Evan Mobley, Alperen Shingun, I'm in Thompson. Uh, then we got Jabari Smith Jr. Like, it's a really, really good team. No way we're below 500 right now. Is it just because we're giving him all of the shots and he's not hitting them? Um, oh, my God. And, uh, the shooting splits are so bad. If he kept these averages up and we also started to win some, he's going to be in contention. Here's some wins. Here's some wins. Just be, if they can get to a 50-win team, when right now they're struggling to stay 500, I'm going to have to make, I'm going to get some trades. I have to. This is our best chance we got. I cannot fumble it because our team record is bad. So um, let's just try to package some, some players together and just get overall talent, but not scoring. We need talent without scoring. That makes no sense. But like Mikael Bridges only averaged 15. You know, that's pretty, that's an upgrade. Maybe it's Mikael Bridges and DeAndre Hunter coming back. No, this is straight talent right here. That's straight talent. Do we need another center? No, we didn't. We didn't need another center. I don't care. I don't care. We got more talented today. Alonzo Ball is not going to take shots. Derek Lively is not going to take shots. Those guys are going to come in and they're going to play their role. And that's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. Come in, play your role. Don't do nothing too extra. My coach still here too? Um, yeah, no, he's still around. He's still around. Okay. Win some games, man. Win some games. And we have a real legitimate chance. Um, hello? Uh, okay, I'll just be back. I'll be back. Now, the team has been so much better. The season is about to end in, in a couple games. I don't know if it's possible. It's not possible. We're not going to compete with 30, 11, and 13. We have a 0% chance to compete with those type of numbers. Did we make an All-NBA team? We weren't even in contention. I did all of this thinking. So we made a second team. So that's a dub. But he don't got the exterior numbers. Like 29 a game is nothing to, to sneeze at. But like six rebounds, five assists just don't get the job done. When you're comparing it to Jokic, who did the same exact points as me. Oh, I'm sorry. More points than me. But also doubled our rebounds and assists. We didn't stand a chance. Okay. Um, uh, we got one more year. Obviously, you could probably guess that this is not going to end the way we want it to. Uh, we're in the finals, so that's fun. He's uh, Eastern Conference Finals MVP. Can he get a, a another MVP? Hey, at least we could walk out of here and say that we did win an MVP award, okay? From undrafted to MVP, and it's a finals MVP. So we were successful. But Lord knows that wasn't the MVP award I was thinking about when I thought about this video, okay? So, uh, last year. And I think it's the last year that contract we gave him, too. So what if he just goes to a different team? We'd have to follow him, I guess. Since we know the fate of our team um, and, and that this challenge is pretty much dead, um, we're going to have some fun in this last year. He did jump up again by one. He is now a two-way, three-level threat. Uh-oh, that means his three-point shot went up a little bit. All right, I mean, he came in as a well-below-average three-point shooter, and now he's just a below-average. Not well-below-average, just a below-average three-point shooter, which I see as a win. What is that fun, you ask? 
I'm going to lower everybody else's shot Tennessee except for his. Um, and I don't mean put it to zero because that's unrealistic. These guys are going to have to get touches and go get, get shots and stuff. But uh, I, I'm thinking 30s. I think 30s feel good. And then we again put his, his even went down. It was supposed to be 100-100 after last season. They even they said, hold on, that's too much. <laughs> he touched the ball a little bit too much. Hold on, let's let's change that. Coach is like, ain't no ain't no way we getting away with that. But we we gonna lower these and, and see if this does anything. His counter stats are gonna be insane. We're probably gonna lose more games, a lot more games, because nobody else is scoring outside of him. But it's a sacrifice that I'm willing to take for the sake of the video because we've already conceded and in, in th that we're not gonna do it. Okay, first game, a win. Oh. Oh. All we needed to do was to change all of the settings. Oh, not the settings, but all of the shot tendencies. And we're still winning games. Yo, we win games? We win games? It's GG's. It's his MVP award to lose. It's his. He's averaging 60 through the two games. And he's 50, 40, 90. Stop it. He almost 50, 50, 90. Here's the problem with this. The team is good enough to be... Oh, no. This is a nice little run right here. They were, they were teetering around 500 for most of the season. Um, which makes sense. I mean, if only one person is taking the majority of shots, it's just going to be hard to win games. If we can stay at this win rate, I think there's a real legitimate chance he does it. Now, it won't count. I won't put this into my, my accolade chest that we successfully did it because we had to adjust some shooting stuff. But I think it'd just be a, a good story if we could get it. Get, get to 49 wins, maybe. 48 wins. He did it. He did it. Now, again, it's not organic, but I'm taking all of the wins that I could get. My boy Lonnie jumped up from 28 points per game to 43. And <laughs> oh, man, that's so incredible, bro. That's so incredible. Uh, he also wins most improved because, yeah, he jumped up from whatever to whatever. He also won clutch player of the year. Please tell me he was in a runner for DPOY. He, uh, he was. What a season. What a season from Lonnie. He's only an 84 overall. What a season from Lonnie, man. Now, can we wrap that up with a championship? Uh, they are the three seed. Again, it's going to be a little bit tough to do it as a three seed, especially when nobody else is shooting outside of you. But one, we get to the conference finals, you get swept by Jonathan Hicks. Oh, my God. Um, Jonathan Hicks. Isn't that the guy from the beginning of the video? It is. He was drafted the same year as our guy. <laughs> our guy has an MVP and a finals MVP, Jonathan. You just got a championship ring. You didn't even get the finals MVP of your year. So... Congratulations on being the second best player in the class. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.